It's January 2012. Everybody's talking about war games. Uh, U.S. and Israel were talking about doing some war games. Iran's talking about some more war games after the recent war games. They just finished uh, in the beginning of the year. And uh, it's looking more like war. Uh, in 2001, when the Lord opened the first seal, the white horse came out. And the leader on the white horse, the President of the United States, declared war on terror. And the first seal of Revelation became fulfilled. Now it's time for the second seal. And the red horse, which symbolizes Iran, is, looks like it's ready to take peace from the earth. And it's the rider on the red horse, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, is preparing for more war games, but he looks like he's preparing for war. The time of the end has come. The first seal of Revelation was opened in 2001 when the U.S. declared war on terror. And now it's 2012, and the next seal, the second seal of Revelation, looks like it's about to open when Iran will take peace from the earth. Iran is situated just across the Persian Gulf from Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Oman. It uh, wants to take control of the Persian Gulf. As the U.S. puts more sanctions on Iran, Iran says that it's going to close the Strait of Hormuz. And when the U.S. carriers left the Persian Gulf the other day, they were warned by Iran not to return. And now the U.S. carriers uh, are stationed in the Arabian Sea, considering whether to come back into the Persian Gulf. Uh, Iran, who just finished war, some large war games uh, about 10 days ago, is scheduled more war games, even more massive, in the next 10 days. And with the warnings that they have on the United States to, uh, to cease and desist on the sanctions, or they will close the Strait of Hormuz, is something to consider, and they've also uh, warned the carriers not to return to the Persian Gulf, which of course we're going to do because we have our uh, fifth fleet base in Bahrain, which is in the Persian Gulf. So we've got uh, U.S. and Iran and a standoff on this nuclear issue and uh, the issues of the Persian Gulf and the flow of oil. Uh, war seems to to be imminent. The drums of war are beating and uh, the dangers are, are significant because Iran's capabilities to, stri to strike the U.S. fleet carriers, they've even lately been talking about ambushing U.S. carriers with their submarines, that, which they have that they can lay on the bottom of the uh, Strait of Hormuz and just wait for their targets to come by. Uh, Iran has done major war games, which they call the Great Prophet, about every six months. And now only about 10, 12 days since their last Great Prophet war games, they say they're going to schedule uh, more by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard in the next 10 days, so at the beginning of February. Uh, situation looks very tenuous, and I think uh, Bible prophecies look like they're about to be fulfilled once again. And uh, the church is asleep. Uh, the world seems more awake. They seem to be more alert to what's going on. But when Iran takes peace from the earth, I would suggest people might want to read this latest book that I've just released called The Time Has Come, Our Journey Begins. Uh, on the cover, it says this is a first seal edition because the first seal is open. It also says that the second seal of Revelation, Iran will take peace from the earth. Quite a bold statement for the cover of a book. Well, as we look at the situation, war games or world war, as prophesied by the second seal of Revelation, uh, there's a lot to consider. We should be prepared to be...